Hi, I'm Val. This is my very first YouTube video and it's called Living Divine. Um, I called it Living Divine because that's kind of like what I'm doing right now. I'm just living in the moment. I'm living out loud. I'm doing it my way, just doing what I want to do. With that said, one of the reasons I am actually posting this video is because of uh, my locks. Uh, this channel will talk a lot about locks. Um, it'll talk a lot about um, healthy living. It, I'm just kind of chronicling my journey. But today I decided to go ahead and make this first video because um, a couple weeks ago, I want to say two weeks ago, I posted a video and I was um, coming from the gym. Um, and I, if I look off, I'm looking kind of in the mirror. But anyway, I was coming from the gym and I had my hair kind of pulled up in a pony because uh, I do work out uh, quite a bit. But anyway, I had my hair pulled up in a pony and um, I decided to take it down and kind of fluff it up a little bit. And as I was fluffing it up, I was like, wait a minute, girl, I'm kind of cute. So, you know, you know. Anyway, so I decided to turn on the um, video and videotape myself, uh, just kind of fluffing my hair. And I posted it. Um, and I got thousands and thousands of comments and inboxes and emails in reference to my hair and that particular video. Um, and I'll try to insert the video um, in this video so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. But what I realized when I got the, all the comments is it, it made me think back to my, um, my lock journey and kind of what got me on the road to doing my locks. I did a lot of research in reference to uh, YouTube. Uh, I went to YouTube University to kind of figure out about locks, uh, and I didn't know a lot about locks. I only knew about the bigger traditional locks. And, I, and, and let me say this, I'm not a loctician. Um, I love all locks, but I didn't see myself necessarily with the traditional locks, simply because most of the time I was loose natural, which is about 15 years, I had my hair pulled back in a ponytail. I'm, I was a lazy loose natural. Um, and I just could not see like the bigger locks being pulled back into a ponytail until it got a lot um, more mature. Um, so I didn't see that for me, but I did some research and I um, was actually at the gym one day and there was a girl that came in the gym and she was working out. And all I saw is she had this big, beautiful mane of hair. And I really thought it was just um, loose hair. It almost looked like a, a, a afro. But I could tell it was something a little different with it. I think if I look back on it now, she probably had just gotten it done uh, relatively recently. But um, she had all these locks. And I finally saw her in the restroom and I had to ask, like, you know, what, what what's the deal with your hair? Tell me about it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I loved it. And she told me there were sister locks. Um, and I never heard about sister locks. I'm like, okay, so little bitty locks? What? What? I've been sitting here trying to detangle my hair and there's such a thing as little locks that do what I need them to do. So I started doing a little bit of research on sister locks. First of all, I'm gonna tell you that I absolutely love sister locks. Um, I got a consultant and at the time my hair was probably by shoulder length. And when I tell you, she was telling me about 1250 to get my hair done. So I'm thinking $12.50 is just not that much, right? Um, and she started laughing because um, surely she's not talking about um, $1,250. Surely she wasn't talking about that. Um, I knew $12.50 was low, but you know, I, I was going for it. Um, and ultimately she told me, you know, it'll be $12.50, but it could be dependent upon it because she hadn't done a full measurement of my hair. My hair was somewhat in a bob. The top was a lot longer than the um, the, the bottom because uh, I had it straightened out. It was in a bob. Um, so that's kind of what we were looking at. And she was very sweet. Don't get me wrong. I, you know, I, I thanked her for that. But you guys, the way my um, bank account is set up and the way my mind is set up, um, I'm cheap. So I was like, no, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to do it. Or I just, you know, won't get locks. 
Um, so I started doing the research on smaller locks. Then I saw someone on, um, I want to say Facebook, that had interlocks, uh, really small interlocks. So I was like, you know what? I can do that. You know, I can I can do my own hair. I'm a DIYer. I've pretty much been a DIYer all my life. So I can do that. Okay, so here's the problem with that. And again, I went back to YouTube University. Um, the way my patience is set up, interlocks didn't work for me. I literally did two interlocks. Now, I'm thinking I'm pretty bright. It, you know, I felt like I wasn't, but I, I, I'm pretty bright. I can get this. Um, it was just time consuming. And I will tell you that I am in awe when I see people do their own interlocking and they have like 500 interlocks yeah and they go for like a month you know doing their hair I'm, a, I'm i'm amazed at that because my thought process was i can do a whole head of interlocks in three days on myself yeah it took me about four hours to do two and mind you i was just learning how to do it so i'm pretty sure i was doing it wrong but it took me about four hours well that wasn't going to work so I decided, okay, what else am I going to do? Because at this point, I'd had my hair in a ponytail for almost 15 years, a curly ponytail. And I'll try to insert pictures of that as well. Um, and then I saw someone on Facebook, and I want to say it was a Facebook group, but that had braid locks. And it, when I first saw them, I honestly thought they were um, sister locks. They were more mature locks where the braid pattern was gone. So I really thought they were sister locks. And I was like, okay, no, I can braid. You know, I can, I can do that. So I decided that I would do braid locks. Um, I started off trying to have a grid. And again, let me go back to the patience. My patience is not set up that well. Um, but I tried and, and you would be surprised how um, difficult parting can be and how time consuming just the parting of your hair can be. So I'm gonna go back to Sister Lux and say that that 1250 is well worth the work because that is truly a labor um, of love doing Sister Lux. You really, I mean, you're paying for the labor bottom line. So, um, Kudos to, you know, everyone that, that does those small locks and have patience to do them. That's some work. Uh, but anyway, I, I did uh, braid locks and I proceeded to put close to 500 really tiny braids on my head. Um, and that's where I started it all. Uh, I will insert a picture of what I look like when I started my braid locks and uh, now. And I'm going to tell you that it is night and day from where I started to where I am now. So I get asked all the time in reference to my hair now. And just to be completely honest, it did not start off looking like this. And to be really honest, looking back on the pictures, I honestly didn't know they looked like they did at the time. I thought they looked, I knew they looked thin because of course you're putting hairs together, you know, and braiding them together. But looking back on what they were, yeah, I must not have any friends because nobody told me. But anyway, with that said, um, I am so glad I stuck through the journey. So let me tell you a little bit about my hair. I am actually going to do a more detailed video of how I do my hair and what I do to my hair. But I want to ask answer a couple of questions that people have asked. I will try my best to put this video up. I will tell you that I am not good at editing, but I will try to add some pictures and add a videotape of how it started at all. But let me tell you quickly about uh, my hair and how this started. And first of all, I want to know if you saw that swing because, you know, I'm loving that watch. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm loving that. So I have, um, like I said, I have braid locks or I started off with braids. I interlock. I do a three-point rotation interlocking uh, with my hair when it's time to tighten it back up. I am actually about, I retie about every six weeks, depending upon how fast my hair grows. And I'm actually due for a retie, so I probably have a lot of um, new growth kind of sitting in here in reference to my hair. So when it's time to actually do a retie, I will try to do one or two um 
on camera so so you can see how to do it but there's tons of great videos on YouTube on how to do um, interlocking and again I did the three-point rotation um, the best thing I can tell you is take your time and don't do it too tightly um, again I'm not a loctician and for me I break all the rules when it comes to lots so and when I say that I um, Kind of everything that I've heard in reference to locks, I do it a little different because I almost still treat my hair as if I'm a loose natural. Um, and by that, I, I condition my hair. Um, I trim my hair often. I keep uh, the layered cut because I kind of I like the uh, fuller look, so I keep it cut in layers. I keep my ends relatively loose and curly. I don't know if you can see that. Um, relatively loose and curly. And I actually, I didn't always, but I actually love the frizz. And I'm going to pull out one so you can see it. See that that, those, that frizzy part of my hair? I actually love that because that gives me fullness. And that actually, when I do a braid out or a twist out, it actually makes my hair look like it's almost loose natural. So I have the best of both worlds. I don't have to deal with detangling. I don't have to deal with all the extra work of being a loose natural. And then I get to, you know, get this fullness and I get to do, the, you know, the head flip and, you know, all that other stuff that comes with having locks. And my locks are very light. Um, it is by far the best hair decision I've ever made. Um, but uh, currently I have uh, 278 locks. I combined uh, when I had nearly 500 braid locks simply because that was just they were just too small. I think I got really fixated on the number when I was researching sister locks and I just thought smaller was better, right? Um, but as they started kind of growing a little bit, it just looked for me, it just looked like I had these little spaghetti strings um, sticking through my hair and I really did not like that. So I combined them um, and I'll show you how or talk to you about how I combined them later. Really, it was just and it's really easy. I just interlocked the roots and um, then uh, did a two strands twist of them together. And I did them uh, early on. I am currently um, three and a half years locked. Um, I wash probably every week, every two weeks. I work out often. And this channel also will talk about um, my fitness journey and how to stay in shape and definitely um, how to, to live healthy. You know, for me, it's easy to um, lose weight. The hardest part is to maintain that loss. So uh, follow me on my journey when I do that as well. But let me get back to the hair. Like I said, I have 278 locks. Um, I'm going to do a 360 so you can kind of get into it. In reference to this style, this is actually a braid out. And what I did to get this braid out, it is um, a couple, maybe about a week, week and a half old. Um, is I put little bitty braids in my hair because when I take it down, it almost looks like I got a um, a, a curly fro almost, you know, or a curl, you know, or a twist out or whatever. But um, I put um, I want to say about forty ish uh, braids in my hair, let it dry, and then took it down. And what I actually do is put six locks in each braid. Um, then I let it dry and I take it down and then I get this look. And again, a lot of the uh, waves have fallen out, but um, this is my braid out. So I'm going to do a 360 on it, on my hair. Um, I have no grid. Uh, the only thing I do have, I keep my hair pretty much over to the side like this, but I do have, and you can't see it now simply because... Um, I am do a retie. I, I do need to retie it, but I keep a middle part and I really am not, I very seldom ever wear a middle part, but I keep a middle part. I keep a, a, a part to this side and then I could part it on the other side if need be. Other than that, I really don't have any, um, have a grid at all. And I love that because it gives me more fullness, I think, um, in reference to my hair. So I'm going to do a quick 360. Please let me know in the description box if there are any specific questions you have for me. And again, people have asked me, 
so many questions about my hair and, uh, and hopefully hopefully I've answered some of them. In reference to retie, I did bring this. So I retie my hair with this tool. I hope you can see it. I'm doing this because people on uh, YouTube do this. I don't even know if you can see it well. But anyway, uh, this is um, a yarn needle. I got it from Walmart. It is, um, I want to say I got a pack of three for less than $2 and then I altered the head of it to go through my hair. Um, I bought really fancy, in my opinion, fancy uh, retie tools um, at the beginning of my journey, spent like $30, you know, $25, whatever. I've lost them all. And the uh, $2 tool works better for me anyway. So, you know, I had the other tools, but I wasn't using them. I was just keeping them because I had already spent the money on them. But this tool that I... Um, bought from Walmart works better for me. So that's what I use to retie my hair. Um, I want to say that's it. So I'm going to do a quick 360. I'm pretty sure I've missed a lot of questions that people have asked me. Um, if so, I will do another video and I'll also introduce myself a little bit better. I just told uh, several people that I would at least get this up, let them kind of look in my hair. Um, for me, I follow people's journey when I was uh, watching YouTube. So I will promise that I will periodically put videos up. So please like and subscribe and share and ask me whatever questions you need to ask. Because the more questions you ask, uh, the more videos I can put up because I know people want to hear the content. So I'm going to do a quick 360 so you can see my hair. Then if you have any questions, let me know. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.